Shalom Israel, Shabbat Shalom, no matter where you are, on the four corners of the earth. Get ready for our Bayerweiss celebrate day to you. Come on, Israel. Shabbat Shalom, my beloved and shown Baptist. How you doing? May I buy away peace and shalom be with you, my daughter. Be sad, joy of Yahweh is your strength. Let us rejoice and be glad. This day, 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 Israel, what day is today? The today is the Sabbath day. Did Abba Yahweh has made a covenant with the house of Israel to remember a Sabbath day to obey the part? Where are those all hypocrites, those two faces who call themselves Israelites? Are you remember today is the Sabbath day? Talk is cheap, but actions is people louder than words, my friend. Do not be deceived yourself. Alleluia, Alleluia, Yahweh, Alleluia, Alleluia, Yahweh. Come on, Alleluia, Yahweh. The children of Israel remember over 3,500 years ago in Mount Sinai. Abba Yahweh has made a covenant with you. Saying, remember the Sabbath day to obey the Lord. Six days do your labor and do all your work, but the seven days is the day of Yahweh, your Creator. On the Sabbath day, not you, your sons, your daughters, your cattle, nor even your animals, don't supposed to be do any work. For in six days Yahweh has made the paradise, the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and Yahweh rested on the seventh, not on the first day of the week. No, you can pick and choose any day you feel like. But Abba Yahweh say, remember, remember the Sabbath day to obey the Lord. Are you are the children of Israel? If you are one of the children of Israel, it is a must to obey and observe and celebrate the word of Abba Yahweh to you. Obedience is better than sacrifices. Come out of her. Those pagan, let's walk. 
Let's come out of those pagan societies, those pagan religions, those lying vices, those polygamy elders, those who want to dump you from the abomination against your creators. Come on, the children of Israel, come out of the pagan ideas. Come out from the camp. Come out from the churches. Come out from the synagogue. All them are nothing but synagogue as of, of Satan. Camp of adultery, immorality, sexual immorality. Come out of them. That's why they call themselves black Hebrew Israelites. They had nothing to do with Abaya ways about them. You see, Bene Israel, not black Hebrew Israelites. Bene, Bene Israel. There's no such black Hebrew Israelites. It's a cult just like Jewish, just like Christians, just like Baptists, just like Seven Days Adventists. Satan always every way to deceive you and misled you. Say hallelujah to Yahweh. Not to the most high, but to Yahweh. the part one of Israel, Louis is Yeshua Amashia. Come out of the Sunday worship. Come out from Memorial Day. Come out from Thanksgiving Day. Come out from Christmas Day. July the fourth day. Independence Day. All them are nothing but men made commitment. If anyone do not walk <laughs> and talk about to the word of Abba Yahweh, that means the truth is not in him. Abba Yahweh say, remember the Sabbath day. Don't say to remember Thanksgiving day, Christmas day. Remember Independence Day. Your Independence Day is your Sabbath. The Sabbath day of Abba Yahweh is not July the 4th. Are you are of the house of Israel. <laughs> not to TMH, not to Buddha, not to Allah, but to Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. The one you don't have to carry with you, the one who ever here to hear you as a righteousness when you pray to Him. Set the part one. No matter where you are, the children of Israel, no matter what's behind your back now, whatever the situation you end up yourself, what matter the problems, what matter going on into your life, just put everything aside. Then, then, then. Come inside and let worship Yahweh and his spirit and children. That's why Abaya will give you six days and he get one for its own self. Therefore, if you love me, obey my commandments. Everything's about the love. How many of you who are ready to walk and talk just like Yahshua Amashiach? was a walk into a walk when he was living on the face of the earth. Come on. Uh-huh. Let's rejoice. Now by our way, so the poor day. The day of independence of our by our way is not July the 4th. But 
Every Sabbath day is a day of independence of Abba Yahweh's celebration. That's why we must be celebrate, observe, and obey the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is the only sign between Yahweh and you throughout your generations. Uh huh. Are you want to walk just like Yahshua was walking on the face of the earth? Are you gonna walk? It up. You gonna walk? No matter where you are today, let's walk this stack. Yahshua Amashia was walk when he was on the face of the earth. Do what please Abba Yahweh. If you love me, Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Uh huh. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Yahweh. Praise and bless be the name of Yahweh. Children of Israel, let's walk the talk as Yeshua Hamashiach. Let's imitate, let's follow the footsteps of Yeshua as an example. If you love me, obey my commandments and remain in my love. Just as I obey my father's commandments and remain in his love. Come on, the children of Israel. Two thousand years ago, we said to us, "If you love me, obey my commandments and remain in my love." Just like I obey my father's commandments and remain in his love. The children of Israel, no matter where you are, let's walk the talk. Let's follow Yeshua Amashiach as an example for our lives. Oh yes, Mr. Yeshua said 2,000 years ago, if you love me, obey my commandments and remain in my love, just as I obey my father's commandments and remain and his love. How oh, many of you who obey the commandments of your Savior? How oh, many of you who listen to the voice of your Creator? The one over 2,500 years ago said to you, remember the Sabbath day to obey its set apart. Six days do your labor in all your world. But the seven days is the day of Yahweh, your Creator. On the Sabbath day, not you. Start from you. And your son can follow your footstep. And your daughter also. Your male and your female servant can be rested. Your animals, your cars, don't supposed to be driving today. Not even a strangers who is waiting your gate. Don't supposed to be do any work. If anyone is in your gate as a stranger who sojourn in your house and I refuse to obey the Sabbath day, kick that person out that day. There's the hotel, there's the motel, or let the person stay in his cars. 
are by your way. Make it very clear for any one of you don't have any skills. That you don't know why 2,000 years ago. Because that's why if you don't hate your mother and your father, if you don't hate your fathers and mothers, if you don't hate your brothers and sisters, if you don't hate your son and daughters, if you don't hate your wife, if you don't hate even yourself, you don't worthy to be his disciple. When Abba Yahweh says something, he wants you to be obedient. Do it what he say. Not just hear what the word say and don't do it. 2,000 years ago, Mr. Yeshua said, why call me master, master? And you are refused to do what I'm commanding you to do. You are my friend indeed. If you do whatsoever I'm commanding you to do. You are my friend indeed. If you are doing everything whatsoever I'm commanding you to do. What is the contrary, the opposite of friend? You are my enemy indeed. If you are refused to do whatsoever I'm commanding you to do. My friends, my Israeli brothers and sisters, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, the viewers, the listeners, my friends, who are everywhere on the face of the earth, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. May our buyer peace and blessing be upon those who listen, those who love him, those who do what please Abba Yahweh. My friend, today is not the day. Today is a Sabbath day of Yahweh. The day Abba Yahweh has blessed. The day Abba Yahweh has sanctified. The day Abba Yahweh has wasted. The way Abba Yahweh has refreshed. And the day Abba Yahweh has taken independence from all his creations. And he said, I waste it on the seventies. That means we should follow the pattern of Abba Yahweh if we love him. He says, so I say, if you love me, if you love me, if you love me. So those who love me will always listen to my word and do what pleases me. 3,500 years ago, remember, in the book of Exodus, three chapter, Abba Yahweh saying, Visiting the iniquity of the fathers and upon the children, upon the third and the fourth generation to those who hate me. But showing mercy and kindness to thousands of generations to those who love me and obey my commandment. Showing mercy and kindness to thousands of generations to those who love me and obey my commandment the love of yahweh my friend is to obey his commandment if you love somebody you will do whatsoever that person commands you or say to you but we miss understand the word of love my friends shabbat shalom to all of you no matter what is happened to you in your life no matter what is behind your back today, you might be filled just like the world going to be falling apart on you. You might be more filled to good. You might be thinking about how you're going to pay the bills. You might be at our eyes, I'm going to protect them or I'm going to feed my children. Or I'm going to pay my rent, my life's bills, my car payment, my insurance and everything. Don't worry about anything. Just lean in up by your way. Are you believe? That's why Mr. Ashwa say, I am that I am. He's a provider. He can be whatever you want him to be. It's up to you to have a faith. If you don't have a faith, just like you don't need to live. If you don't have no hope, today is bad, tomorrow might be better. You don't need to live. Because you have to always have a hope. Hope is the substance for things to come. Hope is the substance for things to come. It's not something now. Yahweh say, I have a plan for you. 
the plan I have for you not to destroy, not to harm you, but a plan to prosper you in the future, not now, on the future. On the future, yeah, we don't promise anything now because this kingdom is not Yahweh kingdom. This earth is not Yahweh. So don't think it's going to be easy for you. Don't think everything going to be okay because you are a servant of Yahweh. No. You see, that's why I say, if they persecute those who always be for you, do you think they're going to play dice with you? They're going to laugh at you? No, 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 no. They're going to do worse than that. See, that's why I say, a servant is not greater than his masters. If they mistreated me, if they beat me off, whatever they do to me, I go to jail, I go before Pilate, I go before Herod, I go before San Hadrian, before Carfax. Do you think they're going to give you a better treatment than me? No. They're going to do any worse than you as my servant. That's why they're all going to hate you because you are not one of them. There is so many things today we have to come to the conclusions. We have to enter into Yahweh's sanctuary in order to understand what taking place in this wicked world. My beloved, my beloveds, so much shalom to all of you, may Abba by Yahweh and His mercy and His grace found favor in Yahweh's eyes. Abba Yahweh, thank you to make us get it together in your name. As you say in your word, Whatever two and three gather with together in my name, there you will be there on the midst of them. And we are today in your presence, Abba Yahweh. In your presence, the set apart day you are created. The blessing day, Abba Yahweh, you bless because for your own pleasure. The day you was rested, the day you was refreshed. And the day you command the children of Israel to dedicate it to you only. We are here, Yahweh. In spirit and truth. To give you to you what you ask in us to do. As right now, every things, all your questions, they worship you. They bow down to you. They praise you. They give you thanks. They bless your name. They bless everything you created. The children of Israel was in slavery for over 400 years. They would forget about your Sabbath. That's your own wise and your commitment. You tell them to remember. Remember. The Sabbath was not established for the Jewish. The Sabbath day was not established for the seven days Adventist, the bigger deception. The Sabbath day has been created since the foundation of the earth. Abayahu, as a reason why he chose the children of Israel is because the expectation of Bayawe was taken men. That he was not found. Even Abraham chose the children of Israel to be his own peculiar people. They don't do what Yahweh was choosing them, was created them to do. He is own. That's the reason why Abraham said, I am Yahweh, I change not. That is the reason why the children of Israel. Has not already destroyed or consumed. We are nothing but stiff naked, rebellious people. Let's have a clear conscience. Everything men say, we follow, we listen, we obey. We obey the doctors. We obey when we go to the hospital to, free, to kill you with drugs and vaccinations. You listen to the system to walk and talk. You all believe on them. But you are refused to listen to your creator. And you all complain, if there is a creator, why I'm suffering. Whatever you see is nothing yet. It's just the beginning of your birth pain. My friends, as is a custom, before we start this service, to call 
to sound the sofa to call to the twelve tribe of Israel, no matter where they are on the four corner of the earth, to listen to the sound of the sofa, to listen to the voice of Yahweh, the one who cry on the wilderness, the one of a twenty five hundred years ago. See, remember the Sabbath day to obey it, set the part. The one who said the children of Israel, the Sabbath day is the only sign between me and you throughout your generations as a perpetual covenant. My brothers and sisters, serving Yahweh is a self-sacrifice. Serving Yahweh is to deny yourself whatever prized integrity you think you have. Is it time to destroy them? The name of Yahweh has been hiding. The Sabbath day has been hiding. The name of Yahushua, the only name, give above any man can receive salvation. They try to bury the name of Israel. But my friends, Abba Yahweh say, Abba Yahweh has already appointed a time. A time, a time, a time for everything. There is nothing hiding under the sun. And one day, it's not going to be known to you. Whatever there was hiding under the bush, we say, I saw a promise to you, you're going to proclaim on the top of the roof. Everybody will know the truth. Now, my brothers and sisters, no matter where you are, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. Now is the time to call to the 12 tribe of Israel. To 12 tribe, 12 gates, 12 messengers, 12. Bene Israel, who are scattered away on the four corner of the earth. Let's sound the shofar. Let's call the 911 call. No matter where they are tonight, they can listen and they can the shofar. If Yahweh perhaps granting them repentance, I bear we see are we have a mercy to whom I choose to have a mercy, and are we have a compassion to whom I choose to have a compassion. Maybe I buy away a few and those who are doing the killings, those who are bowed down to all kind grieving images, courses, Catholics and Protestants and everything bowed down to all those things. Rarukata Yahweh Elohe no Melek Ala Uram Ashe. Kisano be mis vat the vis van ramu ar kor or shufa. Bless are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, who has sanctified the children of Israel by your commitments and called the children of Israel to hear the sound of the shofar. The 911 call Yahweh to you, O house of Israel. The warnings, the 911 call, Abba Yahweh has given to you. My beloved, no matter where you are tonight, no matter what is going on, when you praise Yahweh, praise Him with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. That's the only way. Nothing is easy in life. Don't think you're going to sit down because you are a servant and everything going to fall down to the sky for you. No. We say, so I say, my kingdom is not of this world. Shalom. Bucket of my blood. We say, so I say, my kingdom is not of this world. So if your is Messiah sure as your savior, as your king, this kingdom and this earth is belong to Satan. So you cannot be participate. Be feel comfortable, live a joy life only if you are a part of this wicked world, my friends. Now it is the time to listen to the sound of the shofar for our by our way to greet, for our by our way to call the service and everything, and to listen. To the voice of Yahweh, the Almighty, the Creator.
we turn to the east and we call to the tribe of Yahuda, to the tribe of Azaka, and to the tribe of Zebulun to repent from your wicked ways. Turn the shuva, repent from your wicked ways. Those who are ready to celebrate Memorial Day, I barely don't told you to remember Memorial Day, but I by your way asking you and commanding you to remember the Sabbath day to set apart. Memorial Day is pagans. Memorial Day is nowhere found on the scripture. We must follow our creator. If you follow this wicked world, that means you are belong to Satan. If you are a children of Israel, you must follow the footstep of Yahshua Hamashiach. The tribe of Yahuda, the tribe of Isaac, and the tribe of Zebulun, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, on the east side, Abaya we asking you, it is a must. It is a must. It is a warning. It is a comment. It is a cry out because of love. Come out of her, my people, if you do not want to be partaker and her sin and to share and her plagues. Come out from the birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Father Days. Thanksgiving Day. Happy Halloween Day. Happy Christmas Day. Happy New Year's Day. Happy Wash Goddess Day. Happy Wash Asana Day. Happy East Esther Day. Happy Poem Day. All them are nothing but pagans by nature. Yahweh say to you today is a time to listen and to come out. If you do not want to be particular and essence and to share and appraise, the choice is yours. Remember, whatever plagues, whatever disease you see, you see coronavirus, you see COVID-19, you don't see nothing yet. You don't see nothing yet. Yeah, we're going to use wicked people to destroy you if you don't want to listen to him. Whatever deception you see on the coronavirus, you see nothing yet. It's just the beginning of it. We turn to the north and we call to the tribe of Dan, to the tribe of Ash, to the tribe of Naphtali, to repent from the wicked ways. Awake, wake up, return to the Torah, return to Yeshua Amashiach. Say adios to Didius, say adios to Allah, say adios to Buddha, say adios to God, say adios to Yahweh, say adios to Yahweh. Adios to Aya that Aya. The tribe of Asher, the tribe of Dan, and the tribe of Naphtali who are on the north side. Abaya will say, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her Sunday worship, Easter Sunday, Good Friday. The test given is supposed to be every day, not every third Thursday on the month of November. All those holidays are nothing but pagans. Abaya will command the children of Israel, the tribe of Dan, the tribe of Asher, and the tribe of Naphtali, no matter where you are. Abaya is asking you to come out of her. If, if you do not want to be particular and her sin and to share and her plagues, because the judgment day is near. Come for it. Come out of her. Don't add the bit too late. Don't wait for just like in the time of Noah. When the flood starts and you're coming to knock at the door, it's going to be too late. The time is now. We turn to the west 
and we call to the tribe of Levi's, to the tribe of Joseph, and to the tribe of Benjamin, the son of Saul, to repent from their wicked ways. The tribe of Levi's, you might be doing a kind of abomination against Abba Yahweh. You might be worship and bow down to any graven image. You might be have other gods before Yahweh. Abba Yahweh asking you, it is a time now, the time of awakening of the house of Israel. It is a time of the restoration of the children of Israel. Today, if you found yourself, you are a lost sheep. Messiah Yahshua say, I am coming only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. If you are not lost, this message is not for you. But if you know you are lost, if you are a sheep, you need a shepherd. If you are a goat, a goat has no need a shepherd. But if you are a sheep, you need Yeshua, Yeshua Amasiak. Say, I know my sheep, and my sheep know my voice. When I call them, they hear me, and they follow me. Those of you who are sleeping, the trough of Levi's, the trough of Joseph, the trough of Benjamin, it is a time now to descend to the crying, to the voice of Abba Yahweh, the one who cry on the wilderness, say, come out of her, my people. If you do not want to be perpetual and ascend and to share an appearance. You see, whatever you see happen today in the United States of America and everywhere, the mark of the beast don't even start yet. You see how people are living the life in panic and fear and worries about things, about when the time of the new world order. If you don't have the power, the strength, if you don't have the armor of Yeshua Amasiak, how you can stand when the evil, when they force you to take the mark of the beast, to take the vaccination, how are you going to be standing? If you don't have no Yahweh in your life, you're going to take the mark, you're going to take the vaccination because you don't have Yahweh in your life. So in order for you to be protected, it's not the mass going to protect you. It's not the social distance who's going to be protect you. It's not the sanitizer who's going to protect you. It's only Yahweh. Remember, over 3,500 years ago, when the children of Israel was in the land of Mizraim, when Yahweh has sent his plagues upon the Egyptians, the children of Israel was, were there. Even the animals of the children of Israel don't even have any diseases, any plagues. But all the Egyptians, the animals, everything was affected with Yahweh, plagues and diseases. It is a time to stop by listening to a man to trust in Yahweh, your creator. Abba will say in his word, no weapons, no weapon from against you should prosper. If no weapon from against you should prosper, if Yahweh is with you, you don't have to be fear about to worry a mass. Social distance that cannot protect you from having any kind of disease or virus or COVID-19. It's just a man taken. It's just a man ideology, but they do not know. They ask every question, but there is one question they fail to ask. What is the symptom? Who gave the coronavirus, the COVID-19, COVID-19, that's, that's a code. COVID-19 is a code. It's a code. COVID-19. Why they change the name from coronavirus to COVID-19? Open up your mind. Let Yahweh lead you to the truth. Remember, 
Only the wise will understand what taking place. But the fools would never understand because they are blind. My friends, it is a time now, no matter where you are, to start by following the commitment of Abba Yahweh in order to survive the tribulations and the great tribulation to come. Whatever you say, it's just the beginning of Satan. It's the beginning of the agendas of this wicked world in order to make you bow down to Satan. So up to you. Come out of her. Come out of her, my people. If you do not want to be particular on her sin and to share in her place. Now we turn to the south and we call to the trap of Rubens, the trap of Shimeon, and the trap of God to repent from their wicked ways. My beloveds, there is no memorial day on the scripture. There is no Thanksgiving day every third and the month of November, Thursday and November on the scripture. There is no such July the 4th. But there is, remember the Sabbath day to obey such a part. We turn to the south and we call to the trap of Reuben, Shimeon, and God to repent from their wicked ways. Most of you who call yourself Israelites, you cannot be an Israelite and you are also a citizen of this world. No servant can serve two masters. You can serve only one. You get two feet, you cannot run in the two ways together. There's a lot of people perhaps thinking they can walk with Yahweh and end it hand with Satan at the same time. Whatever you see, your pastors, your ministers, your elders, Ev, they are not blessing, they are reward rewarding from Satan to doing the dirty works. Uh, but I will say there's only one way for you to be blessed is to obey his commitment. There's only one way. Don't take him because you see your pastors, the superstars, those who are in Hollywood, they have a big bank account, they have a big masons. They rise, they fly in six, six, six five million dollars up and thinking they are blessed. That's not blessing. When you sell your soul to Satan, it's not blessed. Satan will reward you because you sell his soul to you. My friends, the children of Israel, no matter where you are, remember we are in slavery because of one reason, because of disobedience. About we say, if you are refused to obey all my commandments, my instructions, my judgments, my statutes and my ordinances, I will send you back to Mizraim. And the trip you will never see again, you will offer yourself to sell as a male and female slave, and nothing would want to buy you. So you are here today in the land of Mizraim, in the land of the United States of America, the land full with hatred crime and violence and killings. You are not living in the land Abia where was promised to Abraham, Yitzhak, and Israel because of your disobedience. Abia will say, I will make you serve your enemy. I will make you serve your enemy if you are refused to obey my commandment. It's not something you want to serve your enemies. But I bear want to prove you I have the power to make you serve your enemies. Today, 
Some of you thinking you are not in slavery, you are not in captivities. Yes. That's why we're here in the United States of America. That's why you receive the treatment you are received. It's because you are a slave. They give you all kind of names. Why they call you all kind of names? It's because they know you are a slave. They don't call the white people the Caucasians by name. But you born in a country and they call you Africans, Americans. They call you Negro. They call everybody Africans, Americans. Are you born in African? Are you born in Africa? Are you no Africa? No. Why they call you Africans, Americans when you born in the United States of America? You're never thinking about that. Haitians, Americans. Mexicans, Americans. Puerto Ricans, Americans. Cubans, Americans. No man can have two nationalities. That's its deceptions. My friends, we get bloody works to do. It is our duty, the children of Israel, no matter where you are today, to praise Yahweh, the master of all, to restore witness to the author of creations. For Yahweh has made the children of Israel unlike the people of the land. And Yahweh has not placed the children of Israel like the family of the earth. Yahweh has not made the children of Israel portions like theirs. And the children of Israel like, like all the multitudes. And we bend the knee and bow and acknowledge our thanks before the King of King, Yahshua Amasiak, the certain part one. Bless be Yahweh the Almighty, Creator forever. Yahweh is straight out paradise and establish earth foundations. And the seat of steam it is in the paradise above. And the presence of Yahweh power, it is in the most exact height. Yahweh is our Abba. Yahweh is our creator. Yahweh is our maker. There is none other. True is our Melech of Israel. There is nothing beside Yahweh. As it is written in the Torah. And you shall know this day. And take your mind that Yahweh is Abba. And the paradise above and on the earth below. There is none other. And it is saying. Yahweh shall be Melech all over the earth. On that day. On that day. When? On that day. The day is coming. On that day. Yahweh name will be one. And Yahweh will be one. Every knee shall and every tongue shall confess that Yahshua is Yahweh to the steam of the Father. Abba Yahweh magnify and sanctify. Be Yahweh great names and the earth which according to Yahweh will. May Yahweh establish his kingdom during your life and during your days. And doing the life of the whole house of Israel, even swiftly and soon. Let Yahweh's great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Bless, praise, and esteem, exalted, extorted, and honor, and magnify, and glory be the name of Yahweh, the second part one of Israel. Bless is Yahweh to be high above. All the blessings and songs and praise and consolations which are altruids on the earth and says Hallel, Hallel, Lu Yahweh. May Yahweh who make shalom and his high praises make shalom upon us and upon all his people Israel and let's say Hallel, Hallel, Lu Yahweh. Abba Yahweh, establish peace. Shalom. Shalom upon your people. Goodness, blessing, life, graciousness, blessing, kindness, graciousness, compassion, 
upon us and upon all your people, Israel. Bless us, Abba Yahweh, for all of us as one. With the light of your countenance, for with the light of your countenance, you give us Yeshua Amashiach. Yeshua Amashiach, the Torah of life, the Torah of love, the Torah of kindness, righteousness, blessing, compassion, life, and shalom. And may it be good in your eyes, Abba Yahweh, to bless us and to bless all your people, Israel, and every season and every hour, and with your shalom, with your abundant strength and shalom. Bless are you, Yahweh, who bless your people, Israel, with shalom. My friends, today it is a time for the children of Israel, no matter where you are, no matter what's going on in your life, don't think it's going to be easy. Things getting very hard. The light almost gone. The daylight always disappear. The darkness going to take over. Let's ask now, every one of you who has the breath of life, let's us be grateful. And thankful to your creator Yahweh, the Abba of our fathers, to all eternities, our rock of our lives, shield of our salvations. Are you from generations to generations? We must thank Abba Yahweh and we let Abba Yahweh praise in our life. We are committed to your power, Abba Yahweh, for our soul that are unjust to you, for your miracles that are with us in every day, and for your wonders and favors in every season, evening, morning, and afternoon. The benevolent Yahweh, for your compassion would never be exhausted. And the compassionate one, Yahweh, for your kindness will never be ended. For we have always, always put our hope in you. For all these, may your name Yahweh be blessed, exalted, extolled, our King continually forever and ever. Alleluia. Away. Everything in life. We gratefully acknowledge you, Yahweh, as the creator of the universe and praise and bless your great name, Yahweh, sincerely forever. For it is good, O Yahweh, our salvation, and bless and help us, Yahweh. The beautiful Yahweh, bless are you, Yahweh, your name, your name, Yahweh, is the beautiful one, and to you only, it is fitting to give thanks. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you to be favorable toward your people Israel. Turn their prayer and restore the service to your set apart place in your temple. It speedily accept the fine offerings of Israel and their prayer with love and favor. And may the service of your people Israel will always be favorable to you, Yahweh, my rock and my redeemer in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. Yahweh, you are almighty forever. You are raised the dead. You are almighty to save. You sustain the living with grace, resurrect the dead with abundant mercy, Abba Yahweh. Uphold the falling, Abba Yahweh. Heal the sick, Abba Yahweh. And set free those who are in bondage. And keep the faith with those that are sleeping on the dust. Who is like you, Mika Moka? Mika Moka by him, Yahweh. Who is like you, O Yahweh? Master of almighty deeds. Who can compare to you, Yahweh? Kings who goes dead 
and restore life and make salvation spread. You are faithful to resurrect the dead, Yahweh. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who resurrect the dead. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our, our King of the universe, who select good prophets and who is pleased with the words which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who choose the Torah, Yeshua HaMashiach, your servant Moshe, your people Israel, and prophet of truth and righteousness. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, rock of our life for all eternity, faithful in all generations, the trustworthy Abba, who says and does, who speaks and makes it come to pass. All of whose words are true and righteous, faithful are you, Yahweh, our Abba. And faithful are your words, for not one word of yours is turned back unfulfilled. For you are a faithful and compassionate Abba and King. Blessed are you, Yahweh, Yahweh, who is faithful in all his word. My friends, now it's about the Kedusha Hashem, Yahweh. Kedusha Hashem, Yahweh. Kedusha is a sanctification. Hashem is of the name. Yahweh is the name. TMH is not a name. Yahweh means nothing. Yahweh means nothing. All those names give above. It's only one. It's only Yahushua. Kedusha Hashem Yahweh, not Kedusha Hashem TMH, or Yawashi, or Yawawa, or JUSUF, Jesus, God, Buddha, Allah, Jehovah. All those, if the name came from beneath, not below, not above. Now every head must cover. You need a tally. Everybody must have a tally, a F cover. Male and female. When you pray to your creator, you must enter into your closet and to talk to your creator. It's not the house closet. I know there's a people who enter into the house closet. It's a code, it's a symbolic. When you pray to your father, enter into your closet. Be in secret. For your father knows what you already know. But you get to get the tally. The tally, they have a head cover. There is all kinds of size, small, big, and whatsoever you want. It. You must have one. If you have the house of Israel. If you do not know where to get them, please box me. And I will give the information. But you must have one. To receive the Kedusha Hashem. Whatever is inconvenient, you have to cover yourself. To show honor, respect, and love for the Melech of Israel, for your Savior, for your Creator, for your Maker. You never see a servant go before his master without his head covered. You must always cover your hair and reverence of your Maker, your Creator. We're going to take flight. Are you ready to receive the Kedusha Hashem Yahweh? Whoever do not listen to the instructions, you're not going to receive any blessing. Ata Kadosh Veshim Kakadosh. You Kedoshim Bekel Yom Yuharuk Ay Yahweh. Ki Enre Kadol. Be Kadash Ata. Barukat Ay Yahweh. A error. Akados, Yahweh, you are so devout. Atakados, Vishim Kakados, you Kedoshim, Bekel Yom, you are Lukai Yahweh. Ki er Merekador, Vikadash Ata, Barukata Yahweh, Aero, Akados, Yahweh, 
you are set apart. And your name, Yahweh, is set apart. And set apart one praise you every day, forever. For you are Yahweh, the great and set apart Melech of Israel. Blessed are you, Yahweh, the set apart creator, the set apart maker, the set apart creator forever and ever. And let's see, Hallel. Hallelujah. Yahweh is set apart. And Yahweh name is set apart. And those Yahweh set apart praise Yahweh every day. Every day. Every day forever. For you are Yahweh the great and set apart Melech. Blessed are you Yahweh the set apart Abba. The set apart created. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh le Yahweh. Beshem Yahshua, Amasiak. Me Abba Yahweh bless me. Been to all of you. My Israel, my brothers and sisters, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. Me Abba Yahweh please. Always to love all of you to see all those beautiful faces to come and to listen to the word of Abba Yahweh. That's, it's, it's a blessing. May Abba Yahweh open up all of single of you ears, give you a new mind, a new spirit, in order to understand his wonderful message to you. My beloved, we must, when we love, must love Abba Yahweh. Humanity has been deceived for almost 2,000 years of religion deceptions. Now it is a time now for the airplane to take off. Abaya, we asking every single person to buck up the belt. The flies, the captain on board is Yeshua Hamashiach. And the fly number is seven 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 seven. Every very blessed and safe flight. May our Bayahweh be with all of you. Shalom. When Adam and Eve was in this earth, in the Garden of Eden, what was the food? Yahweh your creator command. The men, they are freely allowed to eat for food. What does Genesis 2 chapter verse 16 mean? Do we still live according to the same command for Adam and Eve? And what is proper to consume or to eat? Yahweh and Yahushua ministries welcome you today. To discover what Abba Yahweh command mankind to eat. There is so many controversy. So many deceptions. It's because men are to do whatever they please. Instead to listen to the voice of Yahweh. The almighty creator. When we talk the book of Genesis. First chapter verse 25. Yahweh made the white animals according to the kinds, the livestock according to the kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to the kind. And Yahweh saw that he was good. Listen carefully. Yahweh created all the animals according to the kind, mean equate one male and one female in each of the animals. That and there is a reason why Abayawe create all the animals, males and females. So there's a reason. Let's find out what the reason. And Yahweh made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind and Yahweh saw that it was good. Then Yahweh said, I am going to make men 
that they may rule over the fish of the sea and the birds over the sky, over the animals, over the livestock, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So Yahweh create men. Verse 28, Yahweh bless them and say to them, Be fruitful and increase in numbers, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish and the sea and the birds and the sky and over every living creature that move under the ground. Verse 29, And Yahweh say, Behold, behold, I give you every seed. I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the earth and every tree with food content seed, they will be yours for food. Today, like the people thinking they can kill an animals, they can eat whatever they please. If any one of you follow the instructions in the word of Abba Yahweh, there's a lot of sickness and diseases you will be avoiding to spend your time from doctors to doctors, from hospital to hospital, and taking jobs. We found ourselves every lot of sickness and diseases is because we disobey Yahweh's commandment. We're eating what we don't supposed to be eating. Abayawe never creates his animal for men to be eating, to kill, and to eating. My friends, if Yahweh said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of the earth, and every tree with seed and it, Food, they should be if them for food. Why are we do not add the animals on them? Why is say I give you all the green plants for food? Why is not including the animals? Why today men taking is okay to kill a fellow? Humans, animals is a human just like you. You are not better than a animals. You must not kill any animal. That should not kill. Verse 30. And I have given every green plant as food for all the wise animals, the birds and the sky, and the smaller animals that move along the ground. Everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant, every green plant for food, and it was so. If Abba will say, even the animals, he give them the green plants, the herbs to eat. For all the wild animals, the bird of the sky, and the smaller animal that move on the ground, and everything that has the bread of life, everything that has the bread of life in it, I give every green plant for food, and it was so. This scripture said, prove all things. If all this scripture is inspired by Yahweh for instructions, but if the tradition of man cannot be instruction, it must be destructions. By obey man made commandment and rejections of the Abayawi word. That's why disease, sickness, and you spend all your time, you become weak, you become sick, is because you eating what you don't supposed to be eating. If Abayawi say to every beast of the earth, to every beast, not some, and to every bird of the sky, and to every thing that creeps under the earth, every thing that has the breath of life, everything 
that has the breath of life. I have given every green plant for food and you also. Where I was saying, I give you the power and the authority to eat the animals, to kill them and to eat them. When he said that shall not kill. My friends, the scripture must be interpreted by the scripture. But most people refuse to take time to listen to the scripture, but to listen to what men say because it's most easy to follow the grounds. When you follow the crowd and whatever it's happened, you get lost. My friends, how the animals are good for food. Is all meat for good for food? Did Messiah cleanse all meat? My friends, what did Paul mean when he said that Besides, you are asking his disciple, let's go hunter or let's go to fishing. Do you enjoy good earth? Consider the hurt of people around you. Most people eat what satisfies the taste buds instead of the body's needs. The result is a world filled with people who are overweight underweight, low in energy, and plagues by diseases. Some people do not even know what good hurt feel like this should be not being. The vast majority of human being are not taught to be carefully about what or almost to eat. The eating habit mostly bad were formed when they were young like babies. Most people put anything into the mouth. They wonder why the lack of energy and vitally as a result many spend most time and money seeing doctors because of sickness. My friends, if our buyer will say something, what not? Obey the commandment of Yahweh. Since our buyer is giver of life, our buyer will say you must not kill. This is what you have to eat. Why not obey the voice of Yahweh? My friends, we're going to get back to the book of Genesis, first chapter, verse 29. Then Yahweh say, I give you every seed being plant on the face of the earth. And every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. Do I barely say Adam is okay for you to eat? The animals are created, each after their own kind, male and females. And Yahweh said, Behold, I give you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of the whole earth. And with seed and it, fruit you should have them for food. Do you see Yahweh say it's okay to eat in animals? Or he will give you all the green plant, all the fruits who be in seed to eat as food. Why today is okay to kill a fellow human and to kill a animals when Yahweh say that should not kill? I have provided all kind of fruit and grains for you to eat. The animals never be Yahweh intend for men to eat. Yahweh said, look, I have given you every seed bearing plant on the sun face of the entire earth and every tree whose fruit contains seed, this fruit will be for you. But he don't say 
is okay to kill my creations and to eat them as food. First Timothy, Genesis 2, chapter verse 16. The book of Genesis 2, chapter verse 16. And Yahweh command the man, saying, You may eat freely and every tree on the garden. Did Yahweh command the man he can eat and every animal on the garden? The animals on the garden also. But Abaya will never say Adam is okay to eat from my animals who kill them. But instead of that, Abaya will command the man he may eat and every tree, from every tree on the garden, freely. But do he say about the animals? No. He never say about the animals. So why people today thinking it's okay to kill an animals and to eat them? We all must be vegans. Veggie. Vegans and veggie. We all supposed to be used vegetable to eat, not meat. Adams lived for 930 years. Adam never killed one Abayawe animal to eat. But today, they say you have to eat wet meat in order to have vitamin A or vitamin C. That's a bunch of lies. Because they know the food you are eating is a processing food. They have nothing compared to what Yahweh was created, gave to Adam. My beloved, Genesis 2, chapter verse 9. And out of the ground made Yahweh, our creator, the ground every tree. It is present to sides and good for food. Every tree, not every animal. The book of Bereshit. The book of Genesis 2, chapter verse 9. Yahweh never command the men, never intend for mankind to kill his creations and to eat them, to consume them as it's okay when it's not okay. My friends, let the scripture is speaking for its own self. The scripture has no need of private interpretations. Yahweh Almighty created made all sort of trees. Grow up for the ground trees. They were beautiful to the eyes and good for food. Do Yahweh say the animals is okay for food? No. But instead that uh, by Yahweh say he creates all sorts of kind of fruits of trees on the ground. Trees that were beautiful to the eyes and good for food. The animals is not there. Yahweh never permitted. It was prohibited that should not kill. Point blank. So if our buyer is that should not kill, so it don't give any man power to kill his creation, to destroy his creation. You don't have no right to kill a man. You don't have no right also to kill any of our Bayawe creation plan blank. Not even cut a tree. You don't plant a tree. Yahweh plant them. He has the power to kill, not you. The book of Genesis, three chapter verse one. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals Yahweh, the creator, has made. He said to the woman, Did Yahweh really say you must not eat from any tree on the garden? Why he say any tree? Why he say any of the animals? If our buyer was intent for us to eat, to consume meat, to kill his creation, why even Satan talking that way? According to the book of Genesis, 3 chapter verse 1. Why the serpent was more crafty, and any of the beasts, the wild beasts, animals, are by Yahweh, as ever made or created. 
He said to the woman, Did Yahweh really say, You must not eat from any trees in the garden? Why he don't see any of the animals? Why he don't increase the animals? Why talk about only the trees? When Yahweh already gave the men all the trees bearing seed and all the food who ever sit on it for food. My beloved, in the book of Genesis 6, chapter verse 21, you are also to take yourself every kind of food that is eaten and gather it as food for yourself and for the animals. Alone. Why Abel was preserved the animal's life in the time of Noah? Why he was choose male and females? Why Abel tell Noah to make sure you get a wife for each of your son? Why Abel say it was not good for the man to be alone? I will create the man a helpmate according to his need. If he was intended for men to have sex with animals, for men to kill the animals, Abaya will, will never create if Abaya would let Adam with the animals. It's because Yahweh say it's not good for the man to be alone. I will create him a maid. Why? It's because Abaya will create all the animals, men and females. He will create them to do the same thing he blessed you to do. To multiply, to increase on the earth and to clean the environment, not to use a landmark in order to cut the grass. But Abel will create the animals, the green grass for them to eat. Not to eat, to feed them with chemicals and for you to consume them to get sick. My friends, the book of Genesis 9, chapter verse 3. Everything that live and move will not be food for you. Just as I give you the green plant, I now not give you all things. There is a deception from the scripture. There is a conspiracy against the scripture, the word of Yahweh. That's the reason why our Bible said the time is coming when it going to make known everything to you. What already tried to hide in under the bush, one day going to proclaim on the time of a wolf, you might be hissing and hear the word of Yahweh. If the scriptures say Abaya way, do not change. If the scriptures say Abaya way is not a man, it cannot change. Neither change the son of man, it cannot change his mind. If the scriptures say the word of Abaya way will stand forever. Whatever Abaya way does, it's always forever. If Abel is said to Adam, I give you all the green plants for it, do you think Abel is going to tell Noah, it's okay to kill my animals? It's okay to consume them? I don't think so. My friends, let's do the book of Psalm 104, verse 14. The book of Tehillim 104, Chapter verse 14. 104, chapter verse 14. Yahweh make the grass grow for the livestock and provide crops for men to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth. My friends, Yahweh cause the grass to grow for the cattle and vegetations for the labor of men so that he may bring forth food from the earth. If Abba Yahweh 
was command the man is okay to consume me to kill his creations. Why is it that should not kill? Do is it that not should kill only men? Is okay to kill any of his creations? What is the meaning that should not kill is? What is this that should not kill? He leave it without seeing nothing. That means you have not created nothing. You cannot take life of anything. That's why that should not kill is. You don't supposed to be consume animals. You don't supposed to be kill your equations. The same way I will create you is the same way Yahweh create his animals to be fulfilled. He bless them to fill the earth just that he bless you. Man has no right, no power, no authority from Yahweh to kill and to consume animals. For let the earth provide grass for cattle, plants, or for food. But today, the animals doesn't eat grass because the grass they are eating, they are nothing but artificial, a processing grass. Now they don't feed the animals with grass anymore because that's why they want to kill you when you eat them. The same food, they feed the animals to get fat, moon, everything, that the same thing they put on it to poison your body because you do not know not to eat any of Yahweh creation except of plants Yahweh give you, the fruits. You should be a vegan, the veggies. That's why you see vegetable. That's why you should be eat not meat. But now, even there is so many places they are have the animals, they are sick. They say it's okay. They do not shut the club because they want to kill you. They want you to sit. They want you to spend time and money at the hospitals because you are refused to listen to your creator. My beloved, Yahweh will make the grass grow for the animals to eat. To, to, to clean the environment. Not the lemma. Not a machine to just cut them. But our buyer will create the animals. He create the grass for the animals to be eating. Food for the animals. And he give men plants. The fruit being seed. If you buy any fruit, it's not very seed. It's man-made. Whatever Yahweh create, they have to have seed in order to reproduce. If you don't have no seed, it's not of Yahweh. My friends, Yahweh water is the mountain from a symbols. The earth is satisfied by the fruit of his work. The word, the earth is satisfied by the fruit of Yahweh work. My friends, today, we found ourselves by eating meat. Did Adam's 930 years? Did one scripture say Adam was eating, consumed meat? No. What kind of food we should be eating? Do anybody give you the diet? Are to live long? That's a secret. It's all over the scripture. But they've been hiding the world because they want to kill you. They want you to disobey your creator. They want you to spend time and money at the hospital, see doctors, in order for them to push their drugs to make money of you. And the last moment, they kill you because you are stupid and dumb. My friends, when a wise listen to a wise, he become more wise. In the book of Genesis, first chapter, verse 11, the Yahweh say, Let the earth bring forth the vegetation. Let the earth bring what? Vegetation. For what? For the animals or for men? 
Let the earth bring forth vegetations. That those vegetation you have see less brains is to feed men or it's just to feed the animals. Let the earth bring forth vegetation seed bearing plants and fruit trees, each bearing fruit with seed according to its kind and heroes. So, if you are a say, let the earth bring forth vegetations, plant, seed bearing plant, fruit, and fruit trees is bearing fruit with seed according to his own, and it is also. My friends, I bear away as a season, a time and a season he has appointed for everything. There's a time for mango. There's a time for avocado. There is a time for everything because Abayawe never intend for any man to touch, to kill, and to consume any of his creations. But today, we did. Genesis first chapter verse 12. The earth produced vegetation seed bearing plants according to their kinds and trees bearing fruit with seed according to their kind and Yahweh saw that it was good even the plants has to be reproduced even the animals as to have their own kind even the humans as to have their own kind in order to with prediction. That's the reason why even the animals, they but the breastfeed only when they give birth, just like a woman. My beloved, First Corinthians fifteen chapter verse thirty eight. But Yahweh give the plant the form he want it to have and to each kind of seed its own. Hmm. But Yahweh give the plant the forms he wants it to have. If you have a mango tree, he already give the form. He give the plant the form he wants. And each kind of seed is earned. Mango have its own seed, avocado, papaya. Everything is by our created. My friends, Genesis 2, chapter verse 5. Neither white plants nor grains were growing on the earth, for Yahweh the Almighty Creator has not yet sent rain to water the earth, and there were no people to cultivate the earth. Why Yahweh never intend to bring rains under the earth? Because there is no man to cultivate the earth. The animals which already exist. The animal was there. Why Abel will create the animals and he never tell Adam it's okay to kill, to eat, to consume them? Why today you think it's okay? Why you think it's okay to kill? Why you think it's okay to consume the creation of Abayawe for food? Why you think you have all those kinds of sickness, all those kinds of diseases? Because the same food they feed the animals is the same food the animals eat. When you eat the animals, you don't supposed to be eat and you consume the poison, the disease, the sickness is on the processing food while they feed the animals before any plants on the field was in the earth and before any vegetation were not growing for Yahweh has not make it rain on the land and there was no man to cultivate the earth so Abaya will put Adam on the garden with one condition. 
to take care of the earth and to cultivate the earth, not to eat its animals, not to eat any of its animals, because the animals have the same right you get. You are not better than the animals. You don't supposed to be eating meat. No one supposed to be eat meat. No man supposed to be kill anyway. That should not kill. That's the evidence to say a buyer will never intend mankind to kill his creation to eat and to consume as you feel like, as you want to. My friends, Genesis 2, chapter verse 50. If Yahweh took the man and put him on the garden of Eden to cultivate the earth and to take care of the earth, if it was okay for Adam to eat all the animals he wanted to, Abba was never going to put him there said to cultivate the earth. To cultivate the earth, to bring food from the earth. Abba will create everything for his own pleasure, not for our pleasure. But you are taking pleasure by killing not even a human being, but killing also the animals. When you have no why whatsoever. My friends, your food will be plant, but the ground will produce thorn and thirsty. That will see your food. That will say to Adam, your food will be plant. You don't see your food will be the animals. Why today? The book of Genesis 3, chapter verse 18. Both thorn and thirsters. It shall go for you, and you will be eat the plants of the field. The plants of the field, not the animals. The fields. Your food will be plants, but the ground will be produced thorns and toasters also. My friends, the book of Deuteronomy 11, chapter verse 13. So if you faithfully obey the commandment I am giving you today to love Yahweh, your creator, and to serve Yahweh with all your mind and with all your soul. When I will send rains in your land and each season, both autumn and spring rains, so that you may gather in your grains new wine and new olive oil. I will provide grass and the field for your cattle, for your animals, and you will eat and be satisfied. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I will provide grass and the field for your animals, and, f and you have all the food you want on the earth. My friends, if you do it, it will be sent winds in your land, which is needed, the autumns and the springs, so that there will be grains, wine and olive oil. My friends, my beloved, some things Humanity tried to create it. But as our buyer will say, there is a time and a season. He has appointed for everything under the sun. Why our buyer will say, I give you all the green plant for food? Then I will say, I give you every seed being plant on the face of the whole earth. And every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. You don't say the animals will be yours to consume, to kill, and to eat them. As you want, as you feel. And now will say, behold, I give you every plant yet in seed that is on the face of the all the earth. And every tree with seed and its fruit. 
you should have them for food. Why to the humanity don't respect Yahweh and they eat all Abba Yahweh create? Abba we say in the book of Genesis, first chapter, verse 30. And to all the beasts of the earth, and to all the birds of the sky, and to all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant, every green plant for what? For food. And it was so. So why we have to consume and to kill a Yahweh questions? Where it is permitted? Did a Yahweh six commandments do not in effect today world and to the world? Do it's okay to kill? Just like we kill a human beings, it's okay to kill also a animals. My friends. Verse 31. Abaya we saw all that he has made and it was very good. Not even there was good, but there was very good. And there was evening and there was morning in the six days. My friends, my Israelites, brothers and sisters, listen carefully. Yahweh bless them and say to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the face of the sea and the birds of the air and every creature that crawl upon the earth to rule over them, not to abuse them, not to kill them, not to consume them, but to protect them. Verse 29, then Yahweh said, Behold, I given you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth, and every tree whose food contains seed, every tree whose food contains seed, they will be yours for food. And to every beast on the earth, and every bird of the air, and every creature that crawl upon the earth, Everything that has the bread of life and it, I give every green plant for food and it will so. Do they feed the animals with green plants? No. They create their own food. They manufacture. Just like they give you the poisonings, meat also. My friends, Yahweh make the grass go to the livestock and provide crops for men to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth. If Abba Yahweh has given men, Yahweh make the grass go for the animals and plant for food and plant for people to cultivate, to bring in for food from the earth. That's the book of Psalm 1 of verse 14. If Abba Yahweh said to Noah, it's okay to eat and to consume my animals. Did Noah never did. So Psalm 104 verse 14. Yahweh make grass grow for the, the animals. And plant for people to cultivate. Bringing forth food from the earth. He don't say it's okay to eat any of his animals. The same way he bless you. He told you. To multiply, to fill the earth, to increase in the earth. That's the same thing our buyer will create every single animal to do the same duty, the same work he created you to do. That's why in the time of Noah, he told Noah, make sure you take one male and one female of each of the animals. And he said, make sure you have a wife for each of your son because of procreations. But today, it's okay to destroy our fellow brothers and sisters and our families, the animals. The animals as our families also. There is so many things we do not know 
if there's going to be enough time for us to finish with them today. Because there is so many deceptions. It's wrong with probably a mini series. My friends, verse 15. Why that gardens the earth of men, or that make his face to shine, and but that substance is mine, so become from the earth. See Yahweh saying, Food, the book of Job 28, chapter verse 5. Food may come from the earth. Food may come from the earth, not from the animals. The book of Job 28, chapter verse 5. I want somebody to quote that verse for me. The book of Job 28, chapter verse 5. The book of Job 28, chapter verse 5. Let's see what it says. If humanity has the power and authority to consume, to eat Yahweh animals. The book of Job 28, chapter verse 5. Anybody, please, put on the screen for me. It yet? Okay, the book of Job 28, chapter verse 5 states that food may come from the earth, but from below it is transformed as by fire. Food may come the earth from the earth, but from below it is transformed as by fire. In the book of Job 28, chapter verse 27. To satisfy the parties was wasteland and make it spoiled, it will tend the grass for the animals. Not for them to give them the chemicals to eat to make them fat. Not for them to give them hormone when you eat it, the same sickness, the same kind diseases they put inside the animals the same one coming to your body psalm 36 chapter verse 6 your righteousness is like the higher mountain your judgment like the deeper sea oh yahweh you preserve men and beasts you preserve men and beasts if Yahweh preserve men and beasts, that means the men and the beasts are equal. You are not have any advantage on the beast. Your righteousness is like the highest mountain. Your judgment like the deeper sea, O Yahweh. You preserve men and beasts. When Abba Yahweh was destroyed, the wicked people, in the time of Noah, he preserved men, he preserved the beast for procreations, male and female. Yahweh do not want the earth to be empty. My friends, the book of Psalm 65, chapter verse 9, you attend to the earth and water it. With abundance, you enrich it. it. The stream of Yahweh are full of water, for you prepare our going by providing for the earth food for mankind. So if our buyer will provide the water, is enrich the earth, and it command us to cultivate the earth and for us to get food from the earth. What is going on today? So today, there is so many confusions, and that is the beginning. Whatever you see, yes. And for the earth, I would of the combs bread mean food. And under his stones up as a well fire. Of course, yes. So the food has taken from the earth. So Abayahweh 
never say it's okay to eat meat. Because there is no difference between an animal and a human being or mankind. The book of Psalm 147 verse 8. You cover the sky with cloud. You prepare wine for the earth. Who make grass to grow and all the hills. But today, the grass they put is a chemical, it's, it's artificial. Long time you have a dog. When the dog is sick, he got it and ill himself by eating grass. But today, instead of the dog to eat grass to get ill, they do something else on the grass because they know it's not grass. It's artificial grass. The book of Isaiah 30, chapter verse 23. Then Yahweh will send wind for the seed that you have sown and the ground, and the food that come from your land will be rich and plentiful. On that day, your animal will graze an open pasture. Hello, somebody, please. The book of Isaiah, Yeshayah, 30, chapter verse 22. Then Yahweh will send wind. For the seed that you have sown and the ground and the food that come from your land will be rich and plentiful. On that day, your cattle will graze and open pastures. Very simple. Why you take Yahweh send the rain? It's because you want your food, your plant to be grow. Not even go. To have all the riches and plentiful vitamins on them. The food you are eating today is a processing food. You don't supposed to be eat animals. They put homo, they feed with the chemicals, the same disease they give them to eat is to kill you. A little chicken can burn today. And the next day is ready to, to eat. You see those little children? They are eight, nine, ten years. They just have their twenty, because the same homo, the same chemical, the same poison they put inside the animals in order to destroy you. That the same thing when you pop off, boom! You nine years old, you think you are two hundred years old, because the chemical they make it for the animal to be fat to be grow. Long time, a chicken. The rooster has to go to the chicken in order to make one egg. But today, it's a chemical. The eggs you are eating is not eggs. The chicken you are eating is not chicken. It sounds like chicken. It looks like chicken, but it's not. Because that's something they create. It's to poison you. You get to make sure what you're eating. Be careful not to spend time and money to go see a doctor because of what you're eating. Just like in little children, they took everything put in their mouth, but they will choose what is good. But you put everything came from to your mouth, what is bad, become a habit. You become overweight, become everything. My friends, there is so many things. The book of Psalm 145, verse 15. The eyes are all wait upon you, Yahweh, and you give them the food and due season. Hello? Yahweh give them food and what and due season. You don't give the animals and due season, but the food, the plants, the fruits being seed. It is a time to start by killing killing that shall not kill is not a choice when Yahweh said that should not kill it do not describe who to kill and not to kill he said that should not kill point blank when you kill a Yahweh creation's animals is a crime it's a just like when you kill a man there is no difference between when you kill any of Yahweh creations Where you see on the scripture, it's okay to kill. Show me one verse. Abai will authorize mankind to kill, to take life. If Abai will do not command you to take life, by what power and authority 
you killing men and beasts. You think you have any advantage of a, a beast? You are not. My friends, I don't think we're going to finish today because there is so many things to go through. The book of Psalm 147 verse 8. Who cover the paradise with crowns? Who prepare wine for the earth? Who make grass to go upon the mountains in order for men to be cultivated the earth to have food? Why Yahweh will cause the rain? Why Yahweh be for men who is created on the first of the earth? I refuse to let the rain on because you don't want to waste things. My friends, the most important verse, I love it, is the verse, is the Genesis, first chapter, verse 11. And Yahweh say, Let the earth bring forth grass and the herb yet in seed. And the fruit trees yet in fruit after its kind, whose seed is itself upon the earth, and it was good for food. Mm. In the book of Genesis, the book of Bereshit, first chapter, verse 29, and Yahweh said, Behold, I given you every herbs bearing seed, which is upon all the face of the earth, and every tree. And the waste is, is the fruit of a tree yet in seed to you. It should be for food. Do you say, you say it's okay to kill of any of the animals? Do you see it's okay, Abel is it, to destroy any of his creations? Genesis 2, chapter verse 9. And out of the ground Yahweh made to go every tree that is pleasant to the sign and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Yahweh said to Adam, turn also and thirst you shall even for the trees. You shall eat the plant of the field. Not the animals. Our bear will never command the man since the beginning. Even after he chased him out of the garden, he said, Make sure you don't eat any of the animals. The plant should be for you for food. Humanity was created to eat vegetations, not to eat meat, not to kill any of our Bayahwe creations. But to taking care of the earth and cultivate the earth, not to destroy the earth. Not to stop by cultivate the earth. Now we are in farming. That's why we have to eat the pollution food, the polluted food, the processing food they are create came from China. And now suddenly all the food you are eating came from China. Now they told you the coronavirus came from China. About the food you are eating, the meat. The diseases, the sickness, the plague you put inside of you because you do not control what you eat in. My friends, the book of Psalm 136, verse 25. Who give food to all flesh? Who give food to all flesh? For his mercy endure forever. Who give food to all days? To all men. Who give food to all flesh? The animals as a flesh too. Who give food to all flesh, including the animals? All flesh. Who give food to all flesh? Yahweh. How he give food to all flesh? If he give food to all flesh, he never permitted anybody to kill any of his animals. It is a time for those who are even in the United States of America to stop by killing. Point blank. That should not kill. It's not a choice. Those who are living in the United States of America and everywhere on the face of the earth are by our way give you the plants bearing seed for food. The trees who bearing fruit with seed in it for food, not to quite to killing is animals that shall not kill is not a choice. 
that show not tails is not included men or fellow animals or whatsoever. That show not kill and you don't supposed to be take any life because you don't give life. You don't supposed to be taking life. My friends, I better always say to Job, it is a time now. My friends and my beloved Israelites, let me tell you something. It's very hard. I know you might be tired. I'm going to let you go and we're going to finish later. But whatever we have to talk in the glad times, talk about it. Men have no superiority over an animals. If you think you have any kind of privileges or superiority over an animal, you don't. Let the book of Ecclesiastes 3 chapter verse 19. The book of Ecclesiastes 3 chapter verse 18 verse. I say to myself, as for the Son of Man, Yahweh tests them so that they may see for themselves they are but beasts. Hello? Anybody there? Anybody listen? The book of Ecclesiastes 3 chapter verse 18 stated, I say to myself, as for the Son of Man, Yahweh tests them so that they may see for themselves that they are but beasts. That means you are an animal without knowing. You are an animal. That's why people treat an animal just like nothing. Because they don't take in the animals is equal with you. Only one thing you have, you have a stand to tank. The animal tank too. The animal will stop, but Yahweh curse them. They said Yahweh curse you. In verse 19, for people and animals share the same fate. Hello? People and the animals, they share the same fate. Both as a breath of life and both must die. So people have no real advantage over the animals. Everything are nothing but meaningless. If you are thinking you have an advantage over an animals, you make big mistake. The animals is better than a human. It's better to get the one dog, you don't have 100 friends. The dog is more loyal. The more love is honor, more than is love itself. But a human being, it knows you only when you can give. Some of your friends, they know you because you can give them something. You can spend time and time giving them something. The time you say, I cannot, or you don't have to give to them. But they forget you spend 20 years, 15 years, or 30 years, you've been giving to them. But the day you say, I don't have, I can't, that day, you are a good for nothing. That day, they are ready to kill you. They are ready to put a yoke in your neck because you don't have. But when you have a animal, the animal loves you unconditionally. No matter what you're doing with the animals, you can push the animal because you can get angry. You push the animals, the next thing the animal coming, if it's shall dogs coming. The animal is so lovely. If we can love, just that the animals love is honor. If we can love one another, just like the animals, the earth would be better place than it was today. My friend, for what happened to the children of men and what happened to the animals is the same. As one dies, so dies the others. They all have the same bread. You get the bread of life, the animals get the bread of life. When you kill an animal, it's just like you kill a fellow human being. There is no difference about it. My friends, man has no advantage. 
none has no privileges. Man is not better of their in animals. For all has nothing but vanity. For what happened to the son of man also happened to the animals. One things before them. As one dies, so dies the others. Surely they have no bread. They have no advantage. Man has no advantage of a animals, for it's nothing but vanity. My friends, the book of Psalm for the ninth chapter verse 12 said that. But a man despise his wealth cannot be handled. It's like a beast that perish. So you think you are more valuable than the animals. You are not. The same way our buyer will create the animals with its own kind to fulfill, to fill the earth, to multiply, to clean the environment. That the same thing our buyer will bless mankind is say multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, and fill the earth. It's the same duty you have as a man. The animals as the same duty as you are created for. Why killing the animals? Why eating the animals? A man who has riches without understanding, he look like the animals that perish. That the book of Psalm for the ninth chapter verse 20. A man who has riches without understanding is like like a animals that perish. So you have no difference, no advantage over a animals. You don't supposed to be killing and eating any questions of your creator Yahweh. My friends, the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 20. All go to one place. All go to one place. All come from the dirt, and all them return to the dirt. The animals was created just like you are created from the dirt. And man created just like the animals. That's the reason why both as came from the same place, both as to get back the same place. You don't supposed to be kill men and eating them. And you don't supposed to be kill any animals because they create from dirt and the must return to dirt. The book of Genesis, the book of Ecclesiastes 3 chapter verse 20. The book of Ecclesiastes 3 chapter verse 20. My friends, the most important verse on the scripture is the book of Isaiah, Yeshayahu, 66 chapter verse 3. I know you're tired. I'm going to give you a break because... There is so many to talking about that should not kill. Isaiah 66, chapter verse 3. But those who choose their own ways, delay in their detestable sin, will not have the offering accepted. When such people sacrifice a bull, it is no more acceptable than a human sacrifices. When they sacrifice a lamb, it's just that thought they had sacrificed a dog. When they bring an offerings and grant, they might well offer the blood of a pig. Hmm. When they burn front incense, it is as if they had blessed a graven images. Hmm. But whoever sacrifices a bull is left like one who kill a person. Are you with it? The book of Isaiah 66, chapter verse 3. But whoever sacrifices a bull is like one who kills a person. And whoever offers a lamb is left like one who breaks a dog's neck. Whoever make a grain offering is like one who praises pig's blood. And whoever born memorial and sentence is like worship and idols. They have chosen their own ways 
and delights and the abominations. Are we there? How many of you who understand? But whoever sacrifices a bull is like one who kill a person. That means if you kill a bull, it's just like you kill a person. There's no difference. If anyone who offer a lamb as a sacrifice is left like one who breaks a dog's necks. If you sacrifice a lamb, it's just that like you're breaking a dog's necks. That means it's a sin. Whoever makes a grain offering is left like one who present pig bloods. And whoever born memorial incense is like worship and graven image. They have choose their own ways and delight in their own abominations. My friends, listen carefully. For those of you who take hands, you can kill. The sixth commandment of Yahweh commands you that you should not kill. He don't give you any explanation who to kill, who do not kill. That should not kill and you should not kill. You don't give life to anything. You don't supposed to be taking life to anyone. Love that neighbor as the self. The animal is supposed to be your best friend. The animals love you better than a human being you can never imagine. Mankind are very ungrateful. But the animals always know those who feed them. As Abel always described in almost in its word and Oshia. An ox know his honor. A donkey is master cribs. But Israel, my people, doesn't know me. They don't understand. Mankind don't have no understanding. A dog is very, very intelligent and every man. That's why they even use a dog to do what? To do a police. Because they know what the dog can do. But you do not know the value. Of when Abba will create something he created for a reason. Not to eat, not to enjoy them. That should not kill. Look at a dog. You talk to the dog, the dog is listen. Whatever the animals you get, you talk to the animals, the animals understand what you're saying. The animal is not dumb just like mankind. Mankind is stupid and dumb. The animals, they are not stupid and dumb just like mankind. You must respect the animals. The creation of Yahweh must be respected. That should not kill the system, the government. You should be love. You don't give life. You don't supposed to be take life. We should be all honor and respect the commandment of Yahweh. We must start by teaching the school. Remove sex. And put the sixth commitment that should not kill or that should not murder. No matter who you kill, is killing. They start the skip tracing. Whoever sacrifices a bull is like one who kills a person. And whoever offers a lamb is like one who breaks a dog's neck. Whoever makes a grain offering is like one who present pig's blood. At overburned and memorials, incense is like a worship and graven images. They have chosen their own ways and delight in their abominations. When you kill any of the animals, you choose your own ways when Yahweh said that should not kill. Those who are eating pigs, pigs are unclean for you also. And the book of Isaiah 66, chapter verse 4. I will send them good trouble. All the things they fear. For when I call, they did not answer. When I spoke, they did not listen. They deliberately sent before my very eyes. All choose to do what displeased me. Yahweh said. I will send them good troubles. I will send them a good delusions. And the all things they are feared, the diseases I will send to Egyptians. 
I will send them to them. For when I call, they did not answer. And when I spoke to them, they did not listen to me. They deliberately sent before my very eyes and chose to do what displeased me. I also would choose harsh treatment for them and bring their fears upon them because when I call, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not listen, but they did what was evil in my eyes and clothes and shoes that in which I did not delight. My friends, all day long, I have all out my hand to the obstinate people who walk in the wrong path, who follow their own imaginations. My friends, today, that should not kill. It's going to be a mini series because it is very deep to see our humanity is supposed to be vegans, supposed to be veggie, eat only vegetable. Now, if they don't eat meat, as the doctor told them, it's okay to eat meat. But can you imagine it when you eat meat, when you put those guys' sickness in your body, what can be done to you, what can be happened to you? But no one is explained to you because they think it's okay. It's not okay. My friends, Yahweh sits on the earth according to the kind, and the Lord saw according to the kind, and everything that creep according to its own kind, and Yahweh saw it was good. If Abba Yahweh create the beast, and Yahweh create you, men have no advantage whatsoever over the beast. Yahweh see all day long, I have held out my hand to non-obstinate people who walk in their wrong path, who follow their own imagination, by eating meat is by follow your own imagination. By eating meat is follow Satan desire. You follow the wrong path. That's the reason why I bet I was saying that should not kill. My friends, the sixth commandment of Abayawi has never been done away, as the Christianity, the Christian people say, the law has been done away. There is no way on the scripture. You don't give life, you don't supposed to be taken life. The animals is the same fate with you. When you kill an animal, do you see how the animal is suffering or is bleeding? That's the same thing you. You don't you don't have no difference, no advantage over the animals. You should be love the animals, not kill them and eat them. They can waste you for animal cruelty. But about those who kill people, who they just look at you, they don't like your face, and they just kill you for no reason. The animals, why killing them? My friends, they say, so I say, it do not come to destroy and to abolish the law and the prophet, but it coming to fulfill them. It is a time. For almost 6,000 years, humanity has been disobeyed their creator. I see, I desire your mercy, not sacrifices. It is a time now to stop by listening to men, by following men in order to destroy our creator creations. We all are by our creation. We all are relatives. As we go on, we may be go at the same as the different directions, but at the end we remain as one. Because we all came from the dirt and we all gonna go back to the dirt. My beloved, my brother and sisters, Ozeva Gwes, I like to see you, my friends. This is the time now for the children of Israel, no matter where you are to start by killing one another. Start by killing the animals. Start by listening to men. Today, the early facilitations, the animals are sick. 
but they don't care they say to open them in order for you to consume the poisoning meat the same poison they feed the animals who are sick you wouldn't catch the same disease stop spend money at doctors at the hospital by eating the wrong thing stop by become a little child a little infant who put everything they found in them out without thinking the consequences the pain and the sufferings by eating what you don't supposed to be eating my friends the time is now me abayawe open up your eyes you can see me abayawe renew of your mind give you a different spirit to love one another if there is love you cannot shoot or kill an other fellow human beings the animal is supposed to be your best friend not your worst enemy why why killing the animals when you see that should not kill that should not kill your should not commit murder you found that word of a 500 verses on the scripture that should not kill that should not murder abortions blood pain control condom killing animals consuming animals of them they are not even saying they are abomination that's why i always say we go on our own ways detestable ways abominations by not listening to our creator by doing whatever we please and we think is okay when it's not okay when there is love there is no crimes if as if you love that neighbor as that safe as the scripture describe it you cannot kill a fellow human being you never know, just look a person because you have a gun, you just shoot it because you don't like his face, you don't like his color of his skin. Those people in the United States of America and everywhere in the world, it is a time to put prayer back on the face of the earth. Put the commitment of our by Yahweh, what we take back. The people lost because they have received no gravity. They have received no prayer they do not know how to pray but they know about sex they know about condom they are know about safe sex they know about everything but the most important thing to remove them from the face of the earth is prayer liquor store open tattoo shop is open grocery store open guys station open the essential things is open, but a church is closed. Think about that. Our Satan is very deceitful. My friends, today is a day for us to see. Let us go back to our Creator. Let it stop by eating meat, by putting sickness, disease, spend money and time to see a doctor. Is it time now to take shiva? Is it time now to renounce and all the abominations and all the sin and all the killings without knowing? Now is it time? There is a lot of thing about it. Say, do not eat what is unclean. You never see me say, so I go to see it will hunter. I barely say, I hate Esau and I love. Yahakov. Why you think Abraham say he hate Esau and he love Yahakov who later become Israel? It's because Esau was a hunter. Esau was killing his creations. He never pleased with that. My beloved, I know the time is running out. I will leave you today with the peace of Yahweh. I will leave you and we will see you later. I don't think there will be the conclusions of that should not kill. What we have to eat. What shall we commit made to eat? All the sickness and disease, cancer, and whatever you get is because the way you consume, the way you eat, what you put in your stomach, you don't supposed to be eating them. But they say it's okay. But the scriptures say you don't supposed to be. 
So we're going to see later to try to go to the other parts. Did Yahweh commit any man commitments? It's okay to eat meat. What kind of food are by Yahweh which command the men on the garden to eat? He said, you may eat and every tree is freely on the garden. But the animals was there. He never talked about the animals. Because Yahweh love his creation. That's why he, he quit everything. He look at it. He said they are very good. It's something good. That means they are precious. In Yahweh's eyes. They might be not precious. You might be not appreciate your fellow humans. You might be appreciate not, not appreciate the animals. But we are all Yahweh creations. And we should be love, respect, and honor one another. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. May Abba Yahweh bless you. May Abba Yahweh open up your minds. Whoever got the ears to hear, Abba Yahweh, please let them hear your words. Whoever was lost, whoever was bent, misled, deceived, and lied to, remember in the time of ignorance, Abba Yahweh overlooked at it. Now command it every man. No matter where you are on the first the corner of the earth to repent from your wicked ways. Because Abba Yahweh has already appointed a time to judge Jews who are refused to repent from their wicked ways. Two thousand years ago, Messiah Shua said, Father, Father, forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. He don't say, Father, forgive them because they know what they are doing. No. Forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. Now you cannot say you do not know. You don't supposed to be consumed. Yahweh creation. You don't supposed to be killed. A human being or any of our by Yahweh creation. Including the animals. It's just like you. The animal have the same breath. Same blood. You have in your veins. Love. That neighbor as that self, including the animals also. Start by killing one another. Start by killing the animals just for the sake of profit, for the sake of filthy gain. There is a lot of ways seem to be good in the sign of men. But the end of it is death. For the ways of sin is death. For the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahshua HaMashiach. Abba Yahweh, thank you for everything. Thank you for all the viewers. Thank you for Jose Vargas. Long time don't see you, my friends. Thank you for all the viewers, or all the listeners, for all those Abba Yahweh who know the truth, who are willing to step to listen to your words. Abba Yahweh, you know all those who belong to you. I'm asking your blessing to them. I'm asking to provide for them. I'm asking you to lead them. I'm asking you to teach them your way are by your way. I'm asking you to bless everyone. No matter what the problem they have, what sickness, what the calamity, what the disease, whatever happened in their life are by your way. I'm asking you to take over the life. Abba, we cleanse their body, purify them and sanctify them and bless them. In the name of Yahshua Amashiach. Abba, we bring them to your kingdom. Choose them to be a vessel of honor, not a vessel of dishonor. Because in their house, there is always be two kai vessel. One vessel for honor and one for dishonor. Just that you get two pesos, one dresses, one to go to work, to worry every day. Abba, Yahweh, if it is by your will, please. Let your will be done. In Jeremiah 1st chapter verse 5, you tell Jeremiah, before I even put you in your mother's womb, I already know you. So if anybody killing any other human being, they do not know how to hurt you. They think it's okay because the government, the system, we were those who go to army, those who kill the innocent children when we should be loved one another. They create all kind of weapons 
in order to destroy a other human life. The Catholic people always bless the atomic bomb, those things are going to destroy a other human life. When the Catholic supposed to be one of the most religious parts in this world, but the most satanic, demonic in this world. Uh, by the way, bless those who bless you. Honor those who honor you. And about uh, a bit with those who respect you and who are willing to be obedient to your commitments. About uh, it to those who preserve, who protect, who finance, who support, who donate it in your ministries, in Yahweh, Yahushua ministries. I am asking you to open up the paradise, to open up all the windows, to open up all the doors, and I'm asking you to shower them with your blessing. Shower them, by way, all those who are in need because of what's going on in all over the world, especially in the United States of America, those who are out of job, who are out of work, those who are in need, those who cannot be able to pay their bills, I'm asking you are by your way to provide for them. I'm asking you those are by your way who are willing to observe and who are willing to step forward to follow the footsteps of Yeshua Amashiach. Are by your way, please protect them, lead them, bless them, heal them, and are by your way, pull them under your wing. Just like Abraham's use the seal of abraham and you can the seal also of those who belongs to you may abba we bless you and keep you may abba we keep his face shy upon you be gracious to you may abba we lift his continent upon you and give you shalom be shame yashua amashiach say shalom be shame yashua amashiach say shalom be shame yashua amashiach say shalom in the name of Yeshua Amasiak, the name one day, every knee should bow, every tongue shall confess that Yeshua, he is Yahweh to the steam of the Father. Yeshua Amasiak, the whole earth one day must realize there is only one way to receive salvation. It's only in the name of Yeshua Amasiak. The children of Israel must be acknowledged there is only one way for you to receive forgiveness of your sin. It's only through Yahshua, by Yahshua, and for Yahshua. Without Yahshua, there will be no salvation, there will be no eternal life, and there will be no forgiveness of sin for you. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you, I don't pray you, as your servant, Abayahweh protects and lead your people just like you always lead them. My people, is it time to start by learning in your own understanding? Depend on Yahweh and let Yahweh direct your part. Yahweh say, I have a plan for you. A plan that I have is not to harm you. It's not to destroy you, but a plan to prosper you in the future. But Satan plan is to destroy you. Remember, the thief is coming not, but to steal, to kill and destroy. But now, I Yahshua, I'm coming to give you life, but not even life, much more abundantly. I am messenger Daniel. Until next time, say Shalom Alehem, peace. Been today. Shabbat shalom to all of you. To the Rabbi Yahweh. Shavua tov. May Abba Yahweh mercy, love, and compassion and blessings overtake you in the name of Yahshua Amasiah. I see you at six o'clock tonight. Let's praise. Let's glorify the name of Yahweh. No matter where you are, no matter what religion, what ethnic. If you listen, a buyaway can provide for you, no matter where you are tonight. I see you later. Let's praise a buyaway. Let's sing. Let's thank a buyaway 
for what he done for us in our life. ministries so Shabbat Shalom to all of you. Let's shout for Yahweh. Israel, no matter where you are, let us be rejoiced. Let them have a
I see you at six o'clock.